Find any subject you want to capture. It can be a person, a place, a thing, or an animal. Finding a center of interest in photography lets you be creative and show what you want or do in life. As much as possible, your subject feels all what is inside the frame. This is how you'll show what kind of position, angle, or framing you want for the subject. Example, if there's a photo bumper, you would likely crop the picture after taking it. But it's much more better choosing the right angle and to fill in the subject so that there's no photo bumper. Following the rule of thirds is using the grid line as a guide on taking a picture. You can use it as a guide in positioning your subject into a more better way. Like for example, your subject has leading lines, then you can use that leading lines and place it on the grid lines. You can also use it on the person by positioning your camera on where the person is. Capture action is taking pictures with movement involved. Some of the best memorable moments in life are in motion. That's why a lot of us always want to capture it. Capturing action communicates different kind of feelings or emotions. We don't want a cutted subject in our pictures. So, make sure you include all elements in taking the picture. We can see different lines and different shapes wherever we go. Consider geometry as a way to show how interesting a boring place can be. Natural frames is anything that forms a border or part of a border around your subject. It can be seen anywhere and you can use it to draw the attention to your subject of your image. Simplify background lets your subject stand out and focus your viewer on what you want them to look at. Thank you for watching guys! Hope you enjoyed the video and special thanks to Alex Giroferzo for letting me use his 8 composition principles in photography. And also special thanks to Amanda Sara Aquino for being my model and Candice Rebecca Aquino for being my assistant. See you next time! Like and subscribe!